Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and this is a photograph from an upcoming video of mine, which is going to be about the Leviton Voice Activator Dimmer, which has to go in this box over here. See, this is the load box. This is the wire or cable going to the lights. So that's this is the load box, and that's where the the dimmer has to go. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about these wires right here and their length. Now, I have recently seen a video from another YouTube channel where they said that these wires had to be eight inches long. And I saw another uh, YouTube channel say these wires have to extend six inches beyond the edge of this box. And a third one, they said they have to be both eight inches long and extend six inches from the edge of this box. So I guess the fourth uh, choice would be none of the above. So what do you think? There's a little quiz. And right now we're going to go to the 2020 NEC code and see what's really up with wire length. Here we are at 2020 NEC article 300.14. It's called length of free conductors at outlets junctions and switch points at least 150 millimeters at six inches a free conductor measured from the point in the box where it emerges from its raceway or cable sheath shall be left at each outlet junction and switch point for splices or the connection of luminaries or devices where the opening to an outlet junction or switch point is less than 200 millimeters, that's eight inches, in any dimension, each conductor shall be long enough to extend at least 75 millimeters, that's three inches, outside the opening. Let's take a look at it, and then we're gonna go back to the code. Now, here's what it was talking about, the sheath extending into the box. So right here, is where you start measuring from. Uh, but first, let's go over this code real quick. You just be a second, we'll be right back. Here we are at NEC 2020 article 314.17B2. Conductors entering through cable clamps. Wear cable assemblies with non-metallic sheaths are used. The sheath shall extend not less than six millimeters a quarter inch inside the box and beyond any cable clamp. So you start your measuring of the wires from right here. And this can be just a quarter of an inch or it can be uh, like I have it here, five eighths of an inch. And so I would start right here. And then this has to be six inches. This happens to be a little over eight inches in length. So it's got plenty of length. And the other specification is that this wire has to extend at least three inches beyond the edge of the box, provided this box isn't uh, greater than eight inches from any dimension. And what I read that to be is uh, you go from this corner to this corner. And this is a four by four box, so this dimension is going to be 5.66 inches from here to here. So it's under the eight inches from any dimension. So it's a small enough box uh, and it has to reach at least three inches beyond the edge of this box, which it does easily. So there's your code. It starts from uh, the edge of the sheathing and it's gotta be six inches. And it's gotta also, this way I read it, it's gotta do both. It's gotta exceed three inches from the edge of this box. Here we have wire emerging from a raceway right here. So we would start our measurement right here where it emerges from the raceway, which in this case is EMT conduit. We have one exception listed. It says conductors that are not spliced or terminated at the outlet junction or switch point shall not be required to comply with 300 Point one four. Here's an example. Now let's go back to our quiz. 
Eight inches long? No. B, six inches beyond the edge of the box? No. C, both A and B? No. And D, none of the above. That is correct. I'll put links in my video description for the 2020 NEC code books in paperback, spiral bound, and hardcover. Also, I'll put a link for Ugly's Electrical References 2020 edition. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.